myself, and today we're here to talk about jet engines. You can come with me over here, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you about this Pulse jet engine. But this is going to be my final product. What I want to be doing, I got this turbo from a Toyota, but I'm going to be using this turbo to make actually a turbo jet engine. So my final product is going to be a turbo jet engine. What I want to actually go build. So if you stay with me, you can go on the journey with me to end up building a turbo jet engine. So that's what we're going to be end up doing. But first today, I want to show you this valveless pulse jet engine. Shout out to Philaris. I'm going to show you this valveless pulse jet engine that I built, and um, I'm going to be learning about the pulse jet engines and turbo jet engines just so I can get some information on them. Then I'm going to be doing a build on that turbo jet engine I just showed you there. So let me get her fired up. this pulse jet is uh, actually five feet long. There we go, I think I got some there. Okay. With a gasoline choke drag, like so. about 618 is dropping fast because like I said the material we're using is a thin material so the temperature as you can see is dropping pretty quick let's see the exhaust pipe as you can see as you go down 
it gets a lot lower in temperature as I'm moving down the pipe. So it's about boiling point as you hit the bottom of the exhaust pipe. It's about boiling point. And then at the front of the engine, like I said, now it's about 240, but when we started checking, it was around 480, 490, almost 500 degrees when we started checking, a little over 500. So they do get hot, so never touch them when you do build them. Well, that's it for this video. Like I said, please stay with me on my journey. Thank you for liking and subscribing. If you haven't done, make sure you do so, and I'm out, peace. Been a while out for the weekend. Give myself a nine, my three